Subhanahu wa ta'ala madad ya sa'id al-sayf wa ya tu sa'id al-mani mani Euz billahi minash shaytan rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim Destur We are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for protection running away from evil and shaitan shaitanic people and evilish people and the shaitan and the evil from inside of us to run away from that into the protection into the shade into the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala euz billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim and to begin asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to send us his rahman and his rahim the evil that is inside of us and the evil that is outside of us the ego that is inside of us and the ego that is outside these are the uh, areas that awliya allah our shaykhs they are concentrating on not only to say oh outside is evil unbelievers this and that no it is also to look deep inside of us that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put that ego that is inside of us that we have to fight against so we need to run away from evil we need to run away from wrong ideas wrong people wrong thinkings negative thinkings inside and out and in reality nothing can touch us except if we open the door to let evil to come in we are protected if you say auz billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim we are protected isn't it it is a sort of truth that will cut the evil away from us but if we are saying that only by the tongue just saying the words and we are not living the life and practicing removing the evil get that kid is eating something take it out from his hand and not sitting like i have to watch everything take it don't put it on the floor take it So the evil that Allah has put inside of us the ego that early Allah they are saying it is more powerful than shaitan if we are knowing how to defeat that ego and look at the tricks and traps of that ego our ego then definitely we will not be able to be tricked by the evil that is outside and it is our ego that opens the door to shaitan we cannot be blaming shaitan he is our enemy he is doing his job but we cannot blame him on the day of judgment because shaitan himself is going to say ya rabbi i just whisper to them i just give them the was was but he pulled the trigger I did not pull it. I just give him the idea. And the ego's best friend is shaitan. So if we are allowing our ego to be listening to shaitan, then that time no matter how much auz billah you are saying, no matter how much Quran you are reciting, no matter how much prayer that you are making, if you are not understanding your nafs and how it sabotage you and your faith and how it opens the doors to shaitan if you haven't understand that all your prayers and all your worship is not going to be so uh, beneficial to you we are running away from shaitan inside of us and out and we're running into the protection of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
running into the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not just to say I'm running to your protection. It's not just to say we are running to the rahmat of Allah. The divine protocol is Allah makes it very clear. He's sending rahmat to certain individuals, to certain groups, to certain places, not everywhere. His special rahmat is to them. General, general blessings, it falls everywhere. General blessings, it falls to those who are saints and it falls to those who are sinners. The sun shines to the saint and the one who commits a sin the same way, isn't it? The rain falls the same way. The air that we breathe is given. Allah in that way is sending mercy to everyone. He's not saying just because you are unbeliever, I'm not going to give you air to breathe. And the believer must have the same kind of mercy and tolerance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has. But the idea, it is to stand up for haq and to pull those who are in batil, who are asleep, who are in ghaflat, to wake up and to understand who they are and who their Lord is. Shaitan, he disobeyed Allah. Our ego disobeys Allah. Shaitan disobeyed Allah once. Our ego disobeys Allah continuously. From the day that the ego was created to the day that the ego will have no power when we are in that grave. And the salihin, the smart ones, the intelligent ones, they are not going to wait until the grave to say, now the ego has no power over me. The Salihin will use the will of Allah that he has, the spirit. And he's going to use the spiritual will to be over the will of the ego and shaitan. That's why we are running. We are running to follow those ones who have their ego under their feet. We're following those ones who have been trained and selected and chosen and blessed. We're running to those ones whose lifestyle is showing us, not just with words, but the lifestyle is showing us how to achieve this, how to win, win for ourselves the mercy of Allah and the protection of Allah and how to run away from shaitan yes that is why we are following tariqat and we are following shaykhs we are following the sunnah that the sahabi kiram even when the Quran was sent and they hear and they put it in their lives they were still following the Holy Prophet ﷺ, that they do not put their knowledge over the knowledge of the Prophet. They do not put their opinions over the opinions of the Prophet ﷺ. And those ones who were left after the Prophet passed, when Hazrat Abu Bakr was the first Khalifa, those who followed Hazrat Abu Bakr because he represented the Holy Prophet ﷺ, and they did not put their disobedience forward to him. They are in the safety. Those who are disobeying the Khalifa from that time until the last Khalifa, Sultan Abdul Hamid Khan, Janat Mekan, the last ruling Khalifa, those who are in open rebellion against them, they are going to be in very big trouble. It doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter how much you claim that you have reached somewhere that Khalifa is representing the Holy Prophet who is representing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala these days people only know how to sit and judge and criticize and insult they're not looking to themselves 
they're not looking. Who am I to be saying this? Who am I to be judging? They judge the Khalifas. They judge the Sahabis. They judge Islamic history. They judge Muslims and Islam. And this is how shaitan trick them. But when it comes to batil, to unbelief, to wrong ideas, wrong thinkings, different ways, different religions, we are very, 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 very tolerant. We have no uh, quarrel with people who follow different religions. We are saying, Lakum dinukum waliyatin. To you, your religion, and to me, my religion. You follow your way, and we follow our way. We believe. Not only we believe, it is true because Allah has said it, His Prophet has said it. That Islam is perfect. Allah has given Islam, this religion, a name. The religion of the other Ahlul Kitab was named later by some men. Allah did not put a name there. Allah did not put a name there in their books. Show me where it says. Those who are following, for example, Buddhism. Just show Buddha is saying, I come to bring you Buddhism. But in Islam it is clear. The principles are clear, the foundation is clear. We have no quarrel. We have no fault. We say to you, your religion. To us, our religion. What we are looking for is sincerity. Follow your religion. Follow your religion, whatever that you are following, sincerely. Sincerely. If you're Jewish, if you're Christian, if you're Buddhist, if you're Hindu, whatever you're calling yourself, if you have a religion, follow it sincerely. Because the sincerity will bring you to haq. When you come to a conclusion, when you come to the end of where you are in your own teachings, in your own religion, when you see, I've come now to the end, in front of me is a brick wall, then turn your face to Islam. With Islam, you will be taken to pierce through the heavens and the paradises to the highest station to bring you into the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the intercession of the Prophet and the Awliya Allah. Shaykh Afandi, Shaykh Mawlana is saying, then that time we have more to give. You're looking for something else, something more, Islam has more to give. Because Islam, it is a jewel that the more you are looking at it, the more it's going to reveal itself. It is a secret in that way. Not the understanding a secret as in it is stopping you from knowing. It is a secret in the way that more you look, more hidden things will be revealed. But only if you look, only if you search, only if you look inside of yourself, only if you approach Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you're going to discover. If you don't approach, it is going to be hidden. It is in your hands again. Don't blame Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that time. So, Ibliya Allah is saying, come into the circle. Come into the circle of remembrance. Come into the circle of the ones who are beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala come and discover your real identity we have not been created for this world we have not been created to live 60, 70, 80 years in this life to work 9 to 5 like an animal or worse like a robot to marry, to breed and then to die like animals we have been created to represent Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we have been created to be his Khalifa. Come into that garden. Awliya Allah is throwing this invitation not only to Muslims, 
to non-Muslims too, to the whole ummah, come. You want to sit and to remember your Lord. You are agreeing, come. Whoever you are, whatever you are, come. Ours is not a dargah of despair. Even if you break your promises a thousand times, come. Inshallah Rahman. We accept that invitation. We are here and now we're starting to do something. Because it is a journey. A journey. Once you arrive at one point, there's some work for you to do to continue, then to continue. We're doing it to please our Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we're doing it to become the servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May it be accepted. May Allah forgive us. May Allah bring this ummah back into the way of haq. May Allah put more mercy into our hearts. May Allah put more sincerity into our hearts. May Allah take out the hypocrisy from our hearts. May Allah take out the weakness from us. May Allah give us strength to stand up for the haq, even if it is going to be uncomfortable for us. May Allah not make us to be among the hypocrites. For the sake of the Holy Prophet والسلام, for the sake of the Sultan Al-Awliya and Sayyid Al-Sayyid Al-Fatiha. Amen. Assalamu alaikum.